Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is gonna be a red hive composition. So yesterday I've already uploaded a blue hive composition, so now this is my red hive one. Uh, now, uh, I've gotta say this uh, really, really quickly before uh, we start. So this, I'm, well, I'm not currently a red hive, so this, some things in this guide might be inaccurate, but I think most things should be right. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So for being a, to, so to be a red hive, you first need the demon mask, obviously, and you really need the dark side. Don't go red if you don't have a dark side, because um, yeah, that'd be pretty pointless. You wouldn't make as much honey. Um, now to, for amulets, the moon amulet. What you mainly need is the eight percent uh, honey per pollen. You can also get try to get fifty percent white pollen. That's not really needed. Supreme and amulet, you're gonna want one bee attack, uh, you're gonna want red pollen and white pollen, and uh, you're gonna want critical chance and critical power too, um, if you can get that. Now, diamond stick bug amulet, um, you're gonna wanna try to get uh, some plus two red bee attack if that's possible, as well as um, red pollen on your diamond stick bug. So, let me see if I can get something that look great. Um, okay. So that's actually a really good amulet, 2 red B attack, 30% um, red pollen, 15% bomb pollen, you really don't care about that, but as long as you have 2 red B attack and like 1 B attack and uh, red pollen, that's a good one, so just try to get that. Now, uh, Supreme Shell amulet, just get goo, I guess, and the rest doesn't really matter. King Beetle, try to get a, um, try to get a B attack, just like this one. And strawberry field. You don't really need mushroom field unless you have like uh, a guiding star. But yeah, just try to get bee attack and strawberry field pollen. And lastly, for supreme star amulet. Uh, wait one second. Okay. Um. Uh. The, there was a little bug with the, the music right there. Um. So you're gonna want to get a scorching star with uh, star saw. So if I can try to get one right here real quick. Uh. Jeez, this is so laggy for some reason. Uh, star shower. Uh, getting saw. Scorch gummy. Come on, I, I need, I need scor. You need. Well, you need. You really need scorching star and star saw, obviously, because um, without without star saw, you're gonna convert. Like, you're gonna convert nothing, and you're just uh gonna fill up in like five seconds. Like, if I can get a stupid scorch saw. Uh, I, I, I got one. I got one. Okay, whatever. Um. Now, for example, if I go into a field here and I use three stingers, it's gonna summon a star saw, just like that. And um, basically, when you collect pollen, uh, it's gonna convert it. So you also need, uh, by the way, to have a pretty high attack multiplier. So if you have at least 900 base uh, attack power, that should be great. Now, also, I forgot to mention that I'm in the test realm on my friend's account, Phoenix Master, so I can demonstrate um, this red hive. Now, um, after the amulets, we have the nectars, so if I go over here, use a nectar tester, there we go. So now I, I'm getting 24 hours of uh, each nectar. So the best nectar for red is obviously the invigorating nectar for the red pollen and the 10% bee attack. The second best one is going to be the refreshing nectar because it has 1.5x red pollen and 10% bee ability pollen, which is pretty good. The third best one, satisfying 2 times red bee convert rate, that's really good for um, Scorching Star. Because if you didn't know, well, Scorching Star um, actually converts pollen from your, your backpack while it's active. Um, then between comforting and uh, motivating, I think the best one is comforting. Because um, it has the 2x colorless bee convert rate. Actually, never mind. The 1.5x convert rate from motivating and the 5% ability rate is better because, uh, yeah. Also, Scorching Star uh, converts, so that's great. Now, um, besides that, bee for Beequips, I honestly really, really don't know what Beequips you should have. So, I suggest just getting some good uh, Beesmith Beequips, like the candles, the Beesmith tree hats and stuff. So, now, let's get on to the hive. So, uh, if we go over here to my hive right here, um, we have the basic bee, first of all. So the basic bee, good for all hive, 1.2x pollen, you know. Brave bee is an optional bee, so 
if your bees are pretty low level and let me say this real quick do not go red if your bees are low level do not go red if you have like a level 15 hive don't go red that's just stupid just go blue macro get higher bee levels then uh yeah just just switch to red after that but do not go red with low level bees like I'd say the bare minimum should be like 18 or 19 if you want to go red. So yeah, get like 18, 19 uh, hive and you should be good. <laughs> so now Brave Bee. Um, uh, I wouldn't suggest running Brave Bee unless you have like really low attack for some reason. But if that's the case, just get better amulets and you should be good to go. Uh, Hasty Bee, you don't need that. Um, Looker Bee, you don't need Red B, 15% uh, red pollen is just not a lot, so it's just not even a lot, so you, you can't even consider it. Rascal B, 30% red bomb pollen, you're gonna get like no red bombs, so yeah, you don't need that. Stubborn B, that's an optional B, 20% uh, ability token, nice pan, you can have that. Um, if you um, if you have troubles getting to your tokens and times and stuff. Um, yeah, that's so yeah, this one's just really optional. Bubble, Bucko, don't need these. Commander B, um, obviously 3% critical chance, that's really good. Also, focus. Um, Demo B, you don't need that. Uh, Exhausted B, you don't need that, obviously. Fire B, Fire B is an optional one, 50% flame pollen. Uh, I think, I, honestly, I think you don't need it. You'd be better off with like another spicy or precise or whatever you want. Frosty, Honey, don't need that. Rage B, that's... Um, that's basically like Brave Beats, an optional one. But if you have, if your attack is a bit too low and you need to pick between uh, Brave or Rage, just pick Rage because it has a, a free token link attached to it. So yeah, just just grab uh, Rage instead because why not? Riley B, 20% red field capacity and a uh, free red boost. But Riley B is a... Riley B can be... Like, some people don't run Riley B because they, they don't need the capacity, but I, I think you should run it. Shark B, you don't need that. Baby Bees, three to four Baby Bees. Um, now, some people run Tadpoles, but uh, Baby Bees... <coughs> baby Bees are just better, obviously, because um, they don't have any other tokens. Like, Tadpoles got Frogs and uh, Blue Boosts, and you don't need those. So yeah, just get uh, three to four baby bees, <clears throat> and preferably get B ability to read on them. Also, a uh, carp and a bee, you need one of it. But again, uh, I think some people don't run carpenter, but I suggest you do because of the 25% pawn from tools. Actually, yeah, that's not even that good. Just get it for like the, the honey mark and the pawn mark. Next up, Demo B, you don't need that, 15% instant bomb conversions, you don't even have red bombs in the first place pretty much. Diamond B, you don't need that, uh, Lion B, you don't need that, Music B, 3 to 4 Music Bs, but you should, I think you should be good with 2 if you have a Toy Horn on Crimson B. Um, yeah, if you, if you have a Toy Horn on Crimson B, should be good with 2, but definitely get B ability rain on them, just for the simple fact that... Um, uh, you want more melody and token link and focus all of these are good tokens ninja you don't need that shy b uh, i think i think that's an optional one but the five percent b ability pollen is pretty good boy and base you don't need that some people run one but uh, just just don't run any like it's just a waste of a slot you don't need a 1.6 capacity fuzzy b you don't need um just get like uh, a fuzzy halt to help you boost uh, just get a fuzzy alt to help you boost or just make your own fuzzy alt Precise B, you need uh, 10 to 11, and but I honestly suggest running 11 because the more the better. And also have just having more uh, precise Bs and will mean more shots, will mean um, more chances to get a precise mark. So for example, if I go here real quick, like as you can see, <laughs> my Bs are just wait for my Bs to come real quick, like. Okay, look, see, we're already getting a bunch of these, so that's just a lot of targets on the field, which is pretty good, so you can build up precision really fast, maintain it easily, while also maintaining your precise marks, so this is just a pretty healthy combo. Spicy B, you need 13, 14, um, I think 14 is better, because um, more flames is just really good. Vector B, you need like 6 or 7, um, yeah, you, but if you... 
uh, you can actually replace carpenter bee for like a uh, another vector bee. I think you should keep the carpenter honestly. Uh, free, it's a free honey mark. Now uh, after that we have the event bees, bear bee, obviously. Um, now I did a little mistake when during my blue comb video and I said bear bee can be replaced with photon but that's if you don't have it but for red you're gonna need photon so uh, if you have bear bee and like uh, well if you don't have bear bee what you can do is get um, an extra bee that has uh, like an extra music bee or uh, an extra baby bee or just a rage bee or fire bee or even looker bee I guess just get any other good bee or even a spicy bee i mean you could get that now crimson bee 10 percent instant red conversion you absolutely need that that's a must festive bee this one's optional 15 percent red pollen and gifts and honey marks red bombs and stuff and especially if you've got the festive reds a bit better now festive bee can be replaced with the music or uh yeah all the bees that i've just said or baby bee or a uh, spicy bee or a vector bee Gummy B 5% honey per pollen, just get that, you, you need that. Photon B 5% instant conversion, uh, pretty good, just like Crimson. Also make sure you get a Paper Angel if you if you can on Photon B. Poppy B, uh, get that if you don't have full low 20 hive yet, but after that you don't really need it because you... get Yeah, I don't think level... Uh, I don't think red, level 20 red hives are gonna go for level 21 bees. I mean, unless if if you want to, then yeah, you get you can get Poppy Bee when you're uh, when you reach enough honey to to level up your bee. So yeah, uh, Tabby Bee, fifty percent critical power. You need that, really good. Vicious Bee, optional, fifteen percent uh, minus fifteen percent monster respawn time. I guess uh, can be useful. But yeah, Vicious Bee is optional. Uh, Windy Bee, um, you obviously need the two X boost from Clouds. Because uh, when you're gonna be boosting, you're gonna be getting 50% uh, pollen from clouds instead of only 25%. So definitely get that. But if you don't have it yet, because it's pretty hard to get, um, get another spicy or music or whatever. By the way, don't go above uh, 4 musics and 4 baby. Just, just don't go above these numbers. And yeah, that's about it for the bees. So now a few things I should say before... Uh, uh, wait, what, what's wrong with my... Why can't I move? Okay, whatever. Um, a few things I should say first is... Um, when boosting, always boost with a, a friend to help you. Also, um, when using... Uh, for example, let's say I'm gonna boost in uh, Strawberry Field. So I can go down here. I can use my... You're, and you want to use like Glitter and get a 4x boost. Use your Glitter. Wait like uh, 15 seconds or something. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait a bit. Let's let's say I already waited 15 seconds. Then you can use your dice, and then when your dice timer runs out, you're gonna be able to use your glitter quickly, and then just straight up uh, save using a loaded dice. Now most most of you probably already knew this, but yeah, that's just a useful tip. Always get clouds on the field. Always get help helpers. If you can't find helpers, just um. Just look in the bees from simulator discord for some helpers and like if you can't get some helpers just offer them some sprouts like say you're gonna pay them like uh 20 sprouts or something if they help you boost um yeah so that's about it for red hives i if i missed some some things uh, please tell me in the comments oh and also if you want to maintain nectar you can use natural macro um, which is the which is an auto hotkey macro so basically what this macro is gonna do for you is uh, it's gonna maintain your nectars using your the planters that you own so for example um, if you uh, if you're low on nectars like you're gonna want to turn on um, you, a preset nectar and you're gonna select red so it's gonna maintain the most important nectars for red and basically uh, help you with that so yeah it's gonna keep your nectars alive so that way you don't run out and you can get better boosts with it. So that's about it for Red Hives, I guess. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And also I'll have a White Hive composition um, guide ready for tomorrow. So if you're a White Hive, then uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. So goodbye.